Well, Mighty, since that, after all, we did manage to defeat Fury Bowser, and uh, as you can tell, although he still shows up from time to time, but regardless of anything else though, Ray, is the fact that we somehow managed to able to go ahead and say, we now ended up on that particular familiar location since the very beginning of uh, Bowser's Fury game. So yes, uh, hey, what's up everyone? It is I'm the one and only Ray the Flying Squirrel here, and I'm Mighty the Armadillo here, and once again we are back for the Maxi Toys videos as always. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for some more of Let's Play of Super Mario 3D World, plus Bowser's Fury for the Nintendo Switch. So, last time, we still managed able to collect some more of those cat shines. In addition to that, we also did manage able to beat the likes of the forms of Fury Bowser for... Um, I don't know how many times that we actually did manage to fight him, though, because, uh, I think it's roughly about five or so times by that point, in addition to the forms of the final phase of the battle, which, uh, to be expected, it might actually be kind of tricky at first, but when you get the hang of it, though, it might not be so bad, so... Yeah, today for this episode is the fact that we are still not done with the game yet. Because obviously, as you can tell, we ended up back into the forms of First Step Island, if you couldn't tell from that particular location and stuff like that. So because of that though, this means that yes, some more post-game content. So this means that, well, m very much like the forms of any other 3D Mario games, ranging from Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy 2, as well as Super Mario 3D Land, and especially those for 3D World, and of course Super Mario Odyssey, after when you beat the main story, there might be still some more content. So in this case, oh, I wonder what's through here then. We'll let Bowser Jr. will paint everything up, and oh, that looks so cute, especially noticeable, it's almost like a painting of not only Mario, but also Bowser Jr. saving the day while obtaining the actual cat shine itself, which is a nice touch. Yeah, especially noticeable about the fact that no, ma no matter what though, that uh, basically ever since the very beginning of the actual game in Bowser's Fury, we somehow um, already obtained the first cat shine, and that's what appears to be by the forms of make the actual lighthouse shine. And that's pretty much about it. So now since we're back into this familiar location, as we said, this means we can now able to actually finish up the rest of the entire location, ranging from some more mission objectives, and especially noticeable with the cat shards we need to still find, or cat shine shards, as far as I like to say for this point. In addition to that though, we can now able to actually experience some another set of missions that uh, it, it only actually requires uh, Fury Bowser to show up, which, uh, thankfully though, if you're trying to able to use Amiibo, if you're trying to able to make the actual process a bit faster, basically you can able to actually scan in a Bowser Amiibo at any point now, rather than just trying to stuck with the forms of just one day. So yeah, that way you can able to actually just use the Amiibo constantly, well, the only thing you can only make it happen though, it's the fact that you have to beat the main story just once, and that's pretty much about it, so... So as you can see, we've already collected ourselves two cat shines so far for this video, and potentially speaking for this point, uh, Mighty, it's the fact that we might able to actually get a whole bunch of those cat shines, specifically in this particular video, just because, well, since we've almost done with this entire playthrough of uh, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, or to be more specifically though, Ray, is the fact that we've, al we've almost done with the forms of Bowser's Fury uh, game itself. So in this case though, let's go ahead and save Captain Toad right here, and after all, that's uh, very much like the forms of how it does it on, uh, I would say a little bit on Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, that we have to rescue the forms of one of the rest of the Toad Brigade. Or to be more specifically, as you can tell, that Toadette was in fact in the game, although she's actually going to be a part of the non-playable character, because she'll be a part of the same role as in Super Mario Odyssey. So because of that though, the only major difference is this time, rather than just collecting some whole bunch of uh, power moons, unlike the forms of how it does it on Super Mario Odyssey, instead it actually shows us about the fact that we, we must rescue the forms of not only Captain Toad, but also the rest of the Toad Brigade. So, yeah, that might actually beg the question about that specific knowledge and stuff like that, so... 
And also, in addition to more missions, ranging from the forms of, you know, uh, some more cat shines to able to find during the course of the first stamp or step island that we can now able to actually explore the majority on that. We also managed to able to stumble across even more new types of missions, ranging from the actual uh, Plusies medals. Now, as you can tell, that's all time limit based, very much like the forms of some segments of the Plusies segment. And because of that, though, you need to rush this up because obviously, if you don't make it in time, Oh, somehow we almost got into a cat abuse by able to actually almost toss them to the actual water, which we don't let that happen because, you know, cats hate water. So, even though, oddly enough, though, unlike Big the Cat, and even Blaze the Cat, as a matter of fact, they somehow managed to able to survive during the course of the actual water. Although, I'm guessing it's because of how the fact that, usually, relatively speaking, despite the mostly Sonic characters, do need to still need to able to obtain air bubbles in order to survive underwater, but regardless of everything else though, yeah, that might be something worth noting for. And also, as you can see on screen, we can now finally able to actually warp onto different parts of the actual, uh, well, the lake uh, lap cats now. So, like, for instance, for example, since we accidentally managed to warp onto the, uh, the different portion of the world, or in some cases a different location of this whole entire giant place, that way, you can now able to actually have uh, actually access to fast travels in during in some specific locations. And also, there's another new types of missions we can able to discover, and that is rescuing those lost kittens. And then specifically, depending on what specific, uh, um, you know, location you're about to be located in. Like, for instance, on the first portion is the fact that we need to rescue one of the, uh, well, just only one lost kitten, and then all you have to do is just basically you have to take it to uh, the big cat right there, so that way you can get yourself a cat shine. Although eventually, until the later locations, that you get out to do it like uh, three times on the next segment, and also five times on the next uh, part of the actual like lap cat. So, yeah, because as a result, though, that uh, despite the f despite the fact that it might actually be kind of tricky, especially noticeable until when it gets to a point until the second variation of that particular, you know, the Lost Kittens uh, mission objective, but uh, I'm sure we'll get used to this, though, especially noticeable there was actually that particular trick that I don't suppose that most people seem to come across into, although for we've... Uh, for we've uh, played this particular uh, game for the first time back in February, we did not notice at first until whenever we discovered this until, well, you see what I mean, whenever we able to come across into one of those lost kittens that we might able to actually just to, well, find them obviously, so either way though, I do apologize that the actual commentary gets a bit slightly off at points, mainly because of how the fact that I think our throat is actually getting a bit dried up at points, but um, hopefully though, we still live, and um, all the other jazz, but uh, either way though, in those words stands, so, there's another cat shine, which appears to be Lake Rabbit's place tag, right there, so, uh, thankfully we at least managed able to actually got that uh, cat shine after all, so uh, we're now on to 83 uh, cat shines right now, so because of that though, yeah, we're actually getting quite close. Yeah, because of that though, the highest amount of those cat shines you can get up to is definitely 100, which I'm pretty sure, I, I think that uh, me and Mighty has already discussed this earlier. So as a result though, we can able to actually just to guarantee that we can finish this game for uh, specifically this Friday, because, well, until tomorrow anyway, because uh, yes, uh, today's day is of course the, uh, the 28th of October today, in this case in 2021 today. So it looks like that uh, tomorrow, um, after this video is going to release, is that uh, Mario Party Superstars for the Nintendo Switch will be releasing tomorrow. So because of that though, still hyped and especially noticeable that we are still excited for that particular compilation game. Just because it's more accurately it's going to be likely the better version of the Top 100. Just because, again, we thought, we'll probably say this again. That uh, they could have at least done it in the first place, like obviously with the Switch's first lifespan, but apparently we have to wait for a bit while. Just like it forms of how it does it back in the Wii days, that uh, basically that we wait until uh, 2007, that's uh, when Mario Party 8 came around, during the forms of uh, in 2007 from the Nintendo Wii. Although, yeah, because of that though, usually the Wii has now been for about. Um, I would say almost 15 years old right now, so especially noticeable back in 2006 
It still looks pretty successful even to this day. Sure, there might be some few bombers out, out there, like ranging from these random shuffleware games. That's uh, usually license, uh, well, movie license games can be summed up as like sometimes, uh, good, whilst other times they are pretty bad. Like, for instance, the worst version of Rio the video game is the Wii version due to low quality visuals and especially noticeable with, well, some rubbish sluggish controls. Although I will say, that I prefer the PlayStation 3 version and the Xbox 360 version a lot more just because of how the fact that with the best graphical fidelity and as well as from that, um, well, a lot better motion controls or no, not so much motion controls because motion controls wasn't exactly a thing on the PlayStation 3 and as well as the Xbox 360, although it does have, you know, PlayStation Move for the PlayStation 3 as well as the forms of Xbox 360 Connect, but We'll not talk about those, just because, obviously, they're just like, well, I don't know how I can usually say this for this point, so. So, um, and as well as from that, though, um, Ray, is the fact that, another thing I want to discuss, is the fact that during the course of, uh, well, today is, of course, the 28th of October today, and this means that, uh, both games, if I recall correctly, both are, well, I would say Kirby Mass Attack for the DS, as well as Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi for the PlayStation uh, 3, as well as Xbox 360, at least in European countries. Somehow those two games are actually getting today the 10th anniversary today. So because of that, though, yeah, I can't even believe those games are now, well, a decade old. So, yeah, it's it's kind of weird how the fact that some of this stuff are actually time flies all of a sudden. So, next you notice for this point, Ray, is the fact that sometimes life usually goes happens to be, and as a result, though, it just always happens, so... Oh yeah, and another thing's worth noting for this point too is the fact that as you can see, Plusy was uh, already in the cat form already. So because of that though, it only happens once you beat uh, Fury Bowser and watch the ending for the first time. So yeah, you probably get the idea about the fact that there might be some of these uh, cosmetics here and there. But uh, regardless of everything else though, that, uh, well, he looks really, really dope. Especially noticeable with the actual cat form of himself, for Plusy anyway, so... So yeah, uh, not much else to say, apart from the fact that, well, as far as you guys can clearly notice from the start though, about the fact that, which, as far as we already mentioned about this already, that our throat is actually getting slightly funny today, but um, eventually until tomorrow, whenever we get into the finale portion of Bowser's Fury playthrough, then regardless of anything else though, we can definitely, seemingly for surely, that we can definitely finish up this game until specifically this uh, Friday. So, yeah, that should be pretty hyped and excitement at the same time. So, yeah, as you can see, we actually did manage to obtain one of those lost kittens, as you can see right there. That usually has gone further away from the actual main cat owner, or specifically one of the main cats, as far as I'm aware. And somehow we messed this up, just because, well, we jump at the wrong angle. But, if we try to swim underneath through here, then we get ourselves our glorious Lucky Bell. So, yeah, like in 3D World, then basically if you try to be able to perform a ground pound technique, then basically you can get a whole bunch of coins, assuming if you're able to drop from the highest height. So... And also, very similar to Super Mario Odyssey, that after when you beat the main game on Bowser's Fury uh, campaign, basically is the fact that what happens is, um, basically you do have a bit of a, uh, a notification uh, marker that actually shows us the actual map of one of those cat shines you actually missed throughout the whole game. So yeah, it's very similar to Odyssey, except now that uh, it's rather likely in the one specific location as opposed to... Uh, well, I don't know about you, the massive world, I suppose? But, uh, either way, though, regardless of anything else, though, we'll, uh, try to able to ignore that conversation from now on, just because, obviously, as you can see, that we've now reached for about 85, well, cat shines now. So, either way, though, top notch, and, uh, yeah, we're actually getting pretty breezy and fast-paced or anything, so... Yeah, anyway, and uh, another thing I would like to discuss upon is the fact that, re I mean, relatively speaking, about the fact the matter is, though, is just the fact that, well, we've only got about, 
Um, almost to the point about the fact that we've only got three days to go until specifically Halloween this year. So we can expect we can able to actually just to be a little bit more excitement for Halloween this year. Unlike last year, it was cancelled because, well, you know what. But, um, excuse me. And, um, because, yeah, I do apologize for that, uh, disgusting belch at the moment, just because, well, at the moment that, uh, me and Ray are actually decided able to actually drink lots for this point today, although, mind you, because of how the fact that, well, at this point in time, that the actual time zone has actually got backwards so far for the UK, so because of that, it's getting way darker way earlier now, especially noticeable because Halloween is now a thing, and, well, until specifically the next three days, and I believe that uh, it's all eventually until uh, November, I think it's the beginning of November, that we might able to actually get ourselves the fireworks display. So, anyway, so the reason why we have to warp back onto uh, Slipskate Slope location, and that is that, well again, as far as I mentioned this earlier, it's the fact that this only requires, um, you know, Fury Bowser to show up in one of those cat shines we can now able to get, and... As soon as we're able to actually see that's exactly the same scene as before. But um, as you can tell, as soon as when Fury Bowser shows up, we actually now introduce into ourselves these little uh, lucky islands, or to be more specifically, these lucky isles. And basically, this only triggers, as I said, and what is going on with the lag? But regardless of everything else, though, we still got the cat shine, so. However, here's the thing about this is, though, is the fact that you can only pick up one cat shine at a time, so. And this only happens to be on uh, five different uh, lucky aisles that you have to go through. Like one of them we've already done, which is uh, of course in the forms of the uh, slope skate slope location. So at least we've already got that. So it's now down to likely four left. So in this case, that's uh, as you notice on the forms of that particular grey estimation marks. That actually represents the uh, some of these locations on those lucky aisles. They're about to be shown up. And, um, also there might be some couple of those red estimation mark points, which actually shows us of where you're supposed to go for specific locations, or in this case, for that particular cat shines you have to obtain. So, yeah, it, it's very similar to Odyssey, except, well, rather than just uh, getting, you know, uh, power moons, instead you get yourselves cat shines. So, yeah, that should be pretty much pleasant. And I think this is where we basically gonna have to come across into ourselves not only these buttons of cats, but also one of those Toad Brigades. So, yeah, especially noticeable, we've already rescued uh, Captain Toad. So, I think we only need to find four of the rest of the actual uh, the, the Toad Brigade crew. So, speaking of the uh, the Toad Brigade crew, that's uh, one thing we uh, sort of forgot to mention about, and that is the fact that, yes, there is also multiplayer... Well, we already mentioned about the fact that, yes, Captain Toad levels in 3D World portion of the game is now been accessible within four players. Like, you can only play as, like, I think one player takes, takes control of the, uh, Captain Toad himself, along with the forms of Toad Brigade Blue on the second player, and I believe also the, uh, the Green Toad Brigade on, uh, player three, and I believe, uh, Yellow Toad, as in Toad Brigade, um... Well, I would say that, uh, Toad Brigade's number two, I should say, just because, well... Well, then again, it has been about, uh, a couple of hours since I've managed to able to actually just, uh... Mention more info about the forms of several stuff worth knowing for. Well, that maybe seems the case though, uh, Ray, just because, obviously, that we've almost, uh, finishing up completely for the likes of Bowser's Fury, uh, play, or in this case, the actual game mode, so... And once that's been done and finished, then we can pretty much move on to the next set of Let's Plays, as we've set this countless amount of times, so... So while I'm at it though, oh jeez, that was actually a massive close-up right there. Yeah, for that particular location, as far as we've, uh, see right there, that usually in that black spot, there's just a direct center. Well, that's not gonna be gone any time now, just because, well, potentially speaking, that we still need to force to use Fury Bowser for the sake of likely trying to deal with him, for the sake of the forms of assuming if you try to able to actually, uh, like, obtain the actual Giga Bell and stuff, but, uh, regardless of anything else, though, that's as far as I can say about it, so... Anyways, let's go ahead and get the next, uh, medal right there, so just in case we don't need to able to slow things down, so... 
yeah, because of that, though, there's not much else we can say, honestly. So, uh, anyway, so let's go in and ride on to Plusty again. So just in case we can able to get extra boost for, you know, try to caught up with the actual... Oh, okay. Whew. That was pretty close. Yeah, it's basically noticeable that we've almost got to get a massive slip up from that particular turning point. But, uh, thankfully, we did manage to be able to get that another cat shine, so... Now, of course, uh, Fury Bells is going to come back, so let's just jump off uh, Plus E from now on and head over to the forms of the next location we can hop into is, uh, I would say, um, tell you what, um, let me just go ahead and select, um, um, yeah, let's go for this, uh, this particular Pounce Bounce Isle quickly because there's actually another one of those, uh, lucky aisles we can able to hit into. So, yeah, we probably get the idea that we need to do this, like, uh, five times if we really want to get the rest of those remaining cat shines. So, yeah, that pretty much stepped up as such. So, there's the another lucky aisle just right there. Oh my god, what is going on? Okay, at least we still got it anyway. And there might be still a bit of lag every once in a while. Like, you know, some bit of frame drops here and there, so, uh... I think the only reason being for this is because there might be too much stuff on screen, so... However, there's one thing we totally forgot to mention about ever since the very beginning of the forms of this entire, like, Bowser's Fury uh, playthrough, that if you ever play this on handheld mode, uh, chances are the frame rate you're going to be playing with is going to be likely 30 frames per second if you play it on handheld mode. Although, if you play it on TV, it looks butterly smooth, like 60 frames per second and everything, so... Yeah, that pretty much stepped up as such, so... And look at that, we actually still come across into Fury's shadow right there. Although, fundamentally speaking though, uh, Mighty, is the fact that this will be the last time we're going to be seeing uh, Fury's shadow, because after we deal with him, then we're not going to see him ever again. Which, uh, that maybe seems totally obvious, because after all, that we've almost done with the forms of the rest of the Cat Shines grinding, so we could able to expect this much, so... Could imagine of how the fact that most of these speedrunners of this particular Bowser's Fury uh, game mode will be like. Although, for what I've seen it so far, it's actually pretty impressive. Even especially noticeable, you can still able to actually skip cinematic cutscenes, just like in 3D World. In, uh, at least on the Switch version anyway. So because of that, though, thankfully you don't need to worry about, you know, time wasting and stuff. So even then, though, it kind of does the same thing for, you know, uh, Zelda's go with Sword HD and stuff, but... Uh, at least as far as I'm guessing, that uh, usually for Mario Party Superstars also has a skip option on these uh, specific cinematics before you uh, begin the mini game and such. So, yeah, and I'm pretty sure I can usually just try to say about this for the most part, so. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, though, we still need to be able to collect some even more of the same power-ups, just in case for the sake of the forms of Until the Future, that uh, we'll probably uh, mention more about it, and so what if we get into the forms of the finale part, uh, until tomorrow anyway, because uh, as a result, that this is the perfect example of why, that we're about to be able to do, like, uh, Bowser's Fury uh, playthrough within, like, six parts or so during the course of six days. Well, mind you, that uh, Jewel was still going to be carrying on playing Mario Party 6 for the most part. And then, at, p exponentially speaking, that she will be back onto it at some point this weekend while tackling for more of the minigame modes that she's going to be tackling through. So, uh, yeah, that pretty much stepped up from there. And it looks like that Fury Bowser's going to come back up again, so... In fact, uh, let me double check on the map quickly, so just in case what specific location we'll go to next. And I think we'll probably head over to uh, Crisp Climb Castle for a second, because obviously I get the strong sense of feeling that one of those lucky isles is going to be in there. So hopefully we'll try to find out, and uh, while we'll trying to avoid, uh, you know, a lot of Fury Bowser's attacks and, uh, well, he can be pretty, uh, oh, there it is right there. Oh, come on. Oh, we somehow made it. But anyway, let's just go ahead and uh, use the propeller box to be able to fly all the way over there. And we get ourselves, uh, what else? Another cat shine. While the frame rate drops again, because obviously with Fury Bowser's on screen, and also as you notice that the actual sky is actually in a different color this time. So yeah, very much like the forms of how it does it if you're trying to able to deal with the forms of the last battle against with Fury Bowser, including a giant Bowser with uh, 
no uh, eye pupils and stuff like that, which um, I'm guessing it's more accurate like a fury soul into him or something. Well, then again, it has been about a couple of hours since we actually did manage to last touch this, just because obviously we still will be playing some Zelda games from time to time. Especially notable that we are really looking forward to able to experience uh, Breath of the Wild 2 next year. So, uh, if possible anyway. So, even then, though, depending if that game will be finally going to be ready for development. So, in fact, uh, let me know in the comments below for the question of the day. Uh, are, are you guys excited when it comes to tomorrow's Mario Party Superstars for the Switch? is going to be coming out for the Switch. Because we are surely going to be hyped for that, about that. Especially noticeable that we've been dying to able to actually just to play that game. Just because since we are still a diehard Mario Party fan. Like uh, we are ourselves included. This means about the fact that that will be the only ones left into our Mario Party game collection. The only exception being Mario Party E. Just because it only requires an e-reader in order to able to require it. And plus, I think to me, Mario Party E is kind of bare bones to me. Although, to be fair though, that's uh, usually relatively speaking, uh, unlike in, uh, although concept is uh, an alright choice, likely for something to do with the forms of card games and stuff like that. You know, kind of like, like what Sonic Shuffle used to be, but despite the fact that Sonic Shuffle was a ripoff of Mario Party, yeah, truth be told, because obviously that Hudson Soft actually develops the game, apparently. So, yeah, you probably get the suggestion by that, so... Oh, there's still one enemy left? Oh, I know what that represents. The actual coin thief that we can able to deal with, like a coin thief cat. So hopefully we'll, uh, try to round pound him if we do it properly. There we go. And that way we can get another cat shine, so... And in fact, no matter which though, we're now on to 92 cat shines right now. And it looks like we've only got 8 to go. We probably won't gonna be able to try to obtain every single cat shines in this video, but definitely in the next video, as we said this earlier. So uh anyway, let's go ahead and hop over back onto there might be still some missing parts I was missing. In fact, let me just head back onto um Let's just head over uh I don't know. Um maybe over there? Oh yeah, because of how the fact that we can able to hopefully try to make it all the way up to the top of uh, that particular, you know, that particular location there. Yeah, because I was going to be thinking about this, my team, because eventually, whenever we're able to continue things on on that particular location, then eventually Fury Bowser will show up, thanks to the forms of those specific raindrops will decide to show up. And uh, yeah, you probably get the idea about that, so... And while every once in a while we'll try to avoid those, uh, you know, fire bars and then just try to avoid, you know, fire bros in case if we just keep on getting hit. In fact, that we'll just, uh, try to get out the, uh, the Tanuki, uh, power up, in this case the Super Leaf with us. So just in case we can able to, well, save some storage for certain items if we keep on getting hit, like, almost to the point like that. But, uh, thankfully we still survive for that particular portion there. So, anyway, let's hop onto the next uh, switchboard and then just wait for a while until we get closer to the actual switch to activate. So, so anyways, let's go ahead and uh, hop onto that little uh, clear pipe cannon to able to blast us up all the way up to the top. Yeah, some of these areas that we seem to ignore, well, I just have no idea what I'm trying to say for this point right now, just because... Well, then again, it's been a couple of hours, so anyways, let's deal with this little, uh, uh, conk door enemy right there, and we able to rescue another one of those, uh, uh, Toad Brigade members, so that means we've rescued the blue one, which actually features some smart glasses, like, you know, ever since in Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2 days, so. Yeah, anyways, uh, now we're done with that, and now let's go ahead and, uh, uh, let's head back into that particular, uh, you know, that location over there, as we, uh, seem to be missing something, but, um, hopefully we'll try to find that. And it's gonna be somewhere down there. Down there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about anyway. I do apologize for that particular belchiness again, just because, again, we just, uh, almost got, uh, drunk. Well, no one near is bad, but, uh, it's just the fact that we have lots to drink, so... Anyway, so now we found the, uh, the Yellow Toad Edge Brigade, so that pretty much, uh, concludes, uh, the Toad Brigade mission. So because of that, though, 
and every once in a while, if we head back into First Step Island, and basically if we meet up with uh, Toadette, along with the rest of the, uh, the Toad Brigade crew, then basically everything else is saved in here, right? Well, turns out there is actually that one last cat shine we need to obtain. Now, of course, once again, we have to utilize the actual uh, Fury blocks. But uh, we'll save that until any moment. Just because, well, obviously we need to take care of other things. So, I think we was able to actually obtain three more cat shines for this point. And then once we're done with that, then basically we're pretty much going to do for this video. Just because we'll save the... Uh, the final three of those cat shines until the finale portion of this let's play until tomorrow, so... Because, you know, you get what I'm saying for this point though, uh, Ray, because, um, obviously that we've almost done, so... Yeah, because despite we did have some couple of death situations, most notably on this location where we're in right now, just because of the forms of how the fact that sometimes that we've always gone a bit too hasty at sometimes, but, uh, regardless of such though, hopefully we would, won't be having too much, uh, Risky kind of moments notice, but uh, either way though, we'll just go ahead and uh, be very careful around here, and just just in case we don't touch the lava and everything. So anyway, let's just go ahead and uh, hop over there, and then uh, basically, I get the feeling that uh, one of those uh, lucky isles is gonna be somewhere, likely. Uh, um. Oh, uh, we'll just wait for a while until when, uh, oh, there we go, the rain starts to end, now start able to pour it down, because, you know, Fury Bells is gonna show up. And then, uh, something, um, also happens until when, uh, Fury Bowser shows up, and that, if you manage able to meet contact with those cats, basically, that those cats have been possessed by the forms of Fury Form, so they will hurt you, so... Yeah, it kind of does the same thing for the likes of... Oh, there's the Lucky Isle just right there. We somehow missed it. But, um, at least we're hoping we can make it. Although I highly doubt we won't gonna do it as an experty way. But, regardless of such, we still made it. And, oh, goodness gracious, there's still some lag going on. Oh, wait, it doesn't seem to able to drop frame rate as much, thankfully. So, anyway, so let's just go ahead and watch the uh, Fury Bells who gets uh, damaged. And somehow, um, got tied back into that particular, uh, water again. So hopefully we'll meet up with him again. And I believe that we've only got about one more Lucky Isles left. Until specifically we'll save it up until, you know, uh, tomorrow anyway. So, yeah, Roiling Roller Isle did actually give me a lot of trouble right there. At least whenever we're able to play it, so. Anyway, so let's go ahead and, uh, head over to Pipe... Pipe Path House, so just in case we can able to double check on any areas, so Yeah, while well, trying to deal with the forms of those uh, fire bros and uh, Actually couldn't think about it. I think there might be something uh, missing I was gonna be thinking about like if we hit back into uh, let's just say this particular location Then I get the horrible feeling that we actually missing something so but thankfully though, we do got plenty of time to able to actually just to do all that, because unfortunately though, if you're trying to do the forms of the Lost Kitten missions, if Fury Bowser shows up, then the Lost Kittens also counts as being possessed by the forms of Fury Bowser's spell. So this means that yes, you're gonna have to be fast on it though, because obviously if you don't go too fast, then basically that you're probably gonna get hurt, so. Yeah, kind of like how it did in the forms of one of those uh, specific NPC creatures that you should, uh, discovered on the likes of Skyward Sword HD that if it's in daytime, they, they look, uh, harmless. Whilst new forms have been daytime, or the nighttime, I should say, on Skyloft, uh, basically they're all just trying to able to viciously trying to kill you, so... Yeah, I was thinking about the same thing for that point, so... Anyways, I get the feeling that the last lost kitten on that particular location is right up there. So, yeah, we somehow got distracted. So, by the end, though, we've somehow managed to able to rescue him somehow. So, um, you can't do this, like, the harder way. Like, simply able to actually use cheap cheeps, as in, like, cheap cheap bouncing and such. But we're gonna do this, like, an easier method by riding on Plusy here. And then just, well... Catch it right there, and... Oh, don't tell me that. Okay, good. 
Ah, we don't have to go for all that tedium again, but thankfully, those lost kittens do respawn if they somehow manage to touch the water. So because of that, though, you can try this again multiple times if you like. So, yeah, that's usually is a good thing. So, yeah, I think we'll probably do one more uh, catch shine, and uh, let's just say we'll go and head back onto uh, Pipe Path Tower for a bit, and then just try to discover the next... Lost Kitten. In fact, uh, relatively speaking, that there are about, I believe, nine Lost Kittens throughout the whole entire uh, missions like this. Because, you know, you find one, only one of them in the beginning, and then you only have to find three of them on the second uh, segment of the Forms of the Lake Lap Cat. And finally, for the third and final segment of that particular, you know, for that particular, you know, uh, Lake Lap Cat. Uh, basically, we have to find five of them. So because of that, though, it will take a while until whenever we're able to do all that. But uh, regardless of anything else, though, we'll try to, like, uh, save it up for later. So, all right. So I believe in one of those lucky aisles is going to be on that section. I highly doubt it. So, yeah, I was thinking about the same thing for this point, uh, Mighty. Because either way, though, that... Oh, there's a lost kid in there. Although, if you try to able to try to pick it up with, uh, uh, with the propeller box, but, uh, it will not work if you manage to able to still wear the propeller box. So, you always have to make sure that your headgear is taken off. So, yeah, that's something worth classifying for noticing this, so. So, here we go, back onto Wasteland Gigabell, so. And, and also, another thing, too, is the fact that the actual Gigabell has no longer have any, like, uh, green paint, or no, the black uh, paint goop on top of their heads, like the actual Gigabell, they no longer have the actual black paint goop, and because of that, though, you don't need to worry about taking damage from that, so, yeah, anyway, so let's go and uh, retrieve one of those lost kittens there, and I think we only got about four more to go, it has to be the same color, though, so no greens, no blues, no reds, and especially no spawn for no black, so... It always has to be the same color within a uh, the exact same pattern. So it's like somewhat ginger fur and somewhat white fur and especially noticeable some black fur. So yeah, that pretty much describes about the forms of those specific, uh, you know, missing uh, lost cat uh, locations on that specific objectives and such. So either way though, while we're at it though, we'll try to walk around for a bit. So just in case we're able to try to able to... You know, search somewhere, so just in case we don't get confused or anything, so... Well, as a matter of fact, though, uh, Ray, is the fact that since we've almost done with this, like, after all, we've only got about, uh, four catch shines to go, so, uh, hopefully we'll be able to actually get the game finished. So, yeah, they're probably expected by that point, though, Mighty, so, uh, yeah, let's, let's just catch a ride with, uh, Plusy again, so just in case we're able to... Uh, get some bit of travel here and there, so just in case we can able to actually just double check on certain areas throughout, so, uh... But yeah, that's as far as I can say, I'm afraid, guys. Oh, there's actually a bit of, uh, rain coming, so in this case, we'll try to deal with the forms of the last Fury Blocks mission this time, so we can able to actually get these, uh, mission objectives like this out of the way. Although, as far as the Lucky Isles are concerned, we'll pretty much go safe up until the next video, in this case, the finale video, if anything else, so... Alright then, Fury Bowser, uh, just trying to go in and destroy those Fury Blocks for us, just because, obviously, we need to, uh, well, get the next Cat Shine, so hopefully we would obtain the 97th, uh, Cat Shine, and I believe that pretty much concludes the rest of the forms of your Step Island, so because of that, we are done with that particular location completely. Although, mind you, there might be still, uh, some more missions to go through, I believe we've only got about three more catch shines to go. And I believe the majority of them is going to be on the third portion of the entirety of Lake Lapcat. So, there we go. So, we've basically done with that. And, uh, yeah, everything else goes all, well, fine and dandy for the most part. So, uh, yeah, before we, uh, end off the video here, we need to double check on the map quickly. So, just in case if there are some, uh, Missing parts throughout? Well, I highly doubt we won't miss anything, because after all, we've only got three missions to go. So, either way, though, we'll try to able to find a safe spot to, uh, you know, save the actual ending portion of the part. And then, basically, that's, uh, well, not much else to say, honestly. So, uh, 
Even then, though, we would like to apologize for the actual commentary, it gets a bit slightly iffy at times, though, but... Oh well, no big deal. Oh, there's a switch there. But, uh, don't you think we actually got low out of time? Uh, yeah, we'll probably save that until next time. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll end things off here. So join us next time for more Let's Play of Super Mario 3D World, plus Bowser's Fury. That is the fact that we'll try to conclude the rest of the forms of Bowser's Fury, and that Let's Play will be finished. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Later, fellas.